Hello everyone and welcome to Pincer Grasp and Patterns. So what is Pincer Grasp? Pincer Grasp is this, being able to grab a pencil. Now if you've ever broken your arm, you'll find it's very hard. Or if you switch to your left hand and you try to hold the pencil, you're just not as steady. But because you've built up the muscles, in your pincer grasp, you are able to hold a pencil. So this is what we are going to practice with your child today to allow them to focus on their pincer grasp so that they get ready to do a lot of writing. Okay, so different things you can do to practice and get their pincer grasp ready. One of the things I have is, depending on what you have at home, I have cotton balls, here. And the other thing we're looking for is clothespins. And I also have pom-poms, depending on your child's age and how well they can do. So one of the things I've done is I've said, have children pick them up and put them in. Now, if you don't know if your child's left-handed or right-handed, you could have them try picking them up and putting them in. They may or may not be able to do it. They might find one hand is easier than the other. Ah, it didn't go in. So that's one of the things for the pincer grasp is practicing putting these in. I'm gonna, the other thing is if you don't have those, just have them practice pinching, pinching and picking up, pinching and picking up, and that will help you. Now, we are going to use these later on for patterning. So the other thing we can do is sorting pom-poms, which also goes into patterning. So if you have your pom-poms back out here again, which ones are actually the small pom-poms? Which ones are the medium? And which ones are the large or the cotton balls? There you go. So you can sort them out. Have your child sort them out. We can also do patterning, which I will keep for afterwards. Okay. Now the other thing you can do is you can also practice. I took a tissue. Practice tearing the tissue. So one of the things early on does is they have a small circle, a medium circle, and a large circle. And then what they do is they say, okay, tear up the tissue and put it. So how much do you need for the small circle? Oh, I only need one piece. How many pieces do you need for the bigger circle? And what you're doing is you're holding with pincer grasp and pulling. And you can also have them practice with both hands. How much do they need to fill up this circle? Okay, and if you have them practice with both hands, at this point they're doing the pincer grasp on this side, and the pincer, pincer grasp with the left hand and the pincer grasp with the right hand. And you just keep ripping it up. If you wanna try something harder, you try it with paper. You can also do it with paper. Um, tissue paper is just easier or Kleenex. This is a Kleenex. It's just easier with Kleenex because it's easier to pull and to rip apart. And then I can pinch it all up. So that, oh, this one's just a little too big. We'll take him off. Add them there. So there you go. I've got a small, medium, and a large circle. Okay. Now what we're going to get into is patterning. So patterning, why do we need to do patterning? Well, I'm going to pull something out here from our previous one. It's my name. So if I put all the letters of my name here to make my pattern, I have C, Y, N, T, H, I, A. It's a pattern. And a pattern is T, H, is th. So that's why we practice, that's why children practice patterning to get them to realize what's happening. So one of the patterns I like to do is with stickers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, I've got one, two and a third and I've got one and then you could say 
which now if your child's very young, you could say, okay, one, two, one, which one's next? Is it this one or that one? Now these ones are really nice is if you're actually sticking them onto the paper, then your child is practicing the pincer grasp as well at the same time. So one of the things, and if they're not, if they're just starting out, one of the easiest things to do is turn the corner slightly so that they can grasp on this side with the pincer and grasp on that side and pull it off or grasp with the left and grasp with the right and pull it off. And that will allow them practice to pick it up. Now, some people decide to go, hey, let's add this in here. Don't add a third until your child is old enough. If they've, if they've gotten the one, two, one, two, that's great. Add a third one in. But start simple and then go more complex. So one of the things I have here is I had at the bottom here, I had these. These should be in as a PDF attached with this. They were at the bottom. I cut it. There is a video on cutting, showing kids how to cut. So I cut it along the line. And then you look at this and you go oval, square, oval. What's next? I think it's a, or actually it's a, a rectangle. So rectangle, triangle, diamond, triangle. What's next? Diamond. And then you just continue on and let the kids, if the kids do it wrong, that's okay. Maybe they haven't fixed it. They haven't figured out the patterns yet. And the other thing you can do is just with regular crayons is patterning. So if I do, if I do green circle and then do pencil, green circle, what's next? If they don't know what's next, do another a black circle and then do another green circle and then say, what's next? Green, black, green, black, green. If they're not sure, you can put one here and one here and say, which one is next? to allow them to know which one is next. And then they'll say, oh, so you can add the black circle off. So that's another thing to do. The other one is, I made sure to get the right colors here. So here we have blue, pink, blue, and I only had one more. I did not have six of these. I only had two of these, but if you do blue, pink, blue, and you see all these down here, you might go, hmm, pink. Now the thing is, this is a double pattern. It's big, small, big, small. So that one's a little more, more complex than just doing it. You could do blue, green, blue, green. Now this depends if your child can no notice the difference between blue and green. Okay. So that's another patterning we can do. So again, with the stickers, the best part about the stickers is it's the practicing the pincer graph. So let's see here. I've got one, two. Now what goes next? This one. And what's the next one? Here it is, over here. So you just keep practicing and you just keep pulling things up and looking at them and seeing. So, the, And as your child gets better at it, you can add a third dimension to it to give them another chance to do it. The other thing you can do is you can do it with the Play-Doh. Circle. Circle. What do you make next? Here's a long one. The nice about this, I also if you have two different plasticines, you can change colors as well. You can make it harder as you go. So what would be the next thing I'd put here? A circle or log? It's a circle. And then I've run out. I could always steal from these two and make another one there. There we go. So here is our patterning. 
So what did we do today? We did the pincer grasp to practice, and we also did patterns. And both of these are important for JKSK and getting ready for school. So thank you very much for looking at Get Ready for Kindergarten, Pincer Grasp, and Patterns. Thank you and have a good day. Goodbye.